After a long day of working in Zoom meetings, there's nothing like pouring yourself a couple glasses of wine to relax and unwind. Whether it's a wedding anniversary or a special meeting, there are so many occasions that deserve a good bottle of wine to give it the perfect ending or even a very wonderful beginning. Although most people are satisfied with a quick five buck refreshment, the rich and elite have always sorted out the rarest and most exclusive wines to savor their taste buds. Some pay exorbitant amounts to own sought after bottles for status and investment, or unsurprisingly, often to simply drink. But whether you're an exclusive wine lover or want to know what goes into making these over the top wine bottles, we've got you covered. And as hard as it may seem, the quality of these vineyard wonders is even far more superior to their prices. Number 10, Cheval Blanc, Saint Emilion, 1947, $135,125. At number 10, a world-class vintage wine that sold for $135,125 in 2006. The 1947 Chateau Cheval Blanc is arguably the most celebrated wine of the 20th century and just about every other century before it. This pristine work of art is produced in saint emilion in France's Bordeaux region and is one of only a few to receive the highest rank of Premier Grand Cru class. Considered by some sommeliers in the world as the finest Cheval Blanc in the 20th century, this wine holds standard other vintage wines aspire to reach. But the Cheval Blanc saint emilion 1947 was actually a happy accident of nature. Born of extreme weather but somehow still turned out delicious, the Cheval Blanc saint emilion 1947 is a mix of port-like concentration, wonderful texture, and fruity sweetness, all of which give it its warm, rich, decadent taste. Before we move on, leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be the first watching new episodes. Number 9. Henry Jayer, Vosny Romani Cross Parento, 1999. $136,955. Next on the list is the Henry J. R. Vosny Romane Cross Parenteau 1999, which was actually bought at a bargain price. $136,000 doesn't seem quite like the bargain, but when you hear everything that went into making this exquisite wine, you might want to change your mind. The Henry J. R. Vosny Romane Cross Parenteau 1999 is a wonderfully balanced red wine originating from the illustrious Burgundy region. The famous Henry Jayer produced it in his now world-renowned vineyard. The Vosny Romanet Cross Parenteau 1999 does not disappoint at all. It holds a premier crew status and provides a mix of sensuality and very distinct fruitiness. Not to mention that this beauty is relatively light, so it goes with pretty much any food. Number 8. Chateau Lafitte, 1787. $156,450. This next vintage also finds its origin in the beautiful French countryside. The village of Vosny Romani has produced some of the world's most coveted and costly wines, but the Chateau Lafitte is certainly miles ahead of the rest. Lafitte Rothschild has a long and interesting history dating back to 1234, even though the property was not in the Bordeaux wine business at that time. Back then, the main crops were grain for cereal and cattle, but even then, the owner of the estate at the time, Gombard de Lafitte, left his mark. Almost 1,000 years after he owned it and the chateau still bears his name. Since then, the estate has been owned by different people, including the Rothschild family. This wine is so expensive that a glass of this rare vintage might cost you up to $27,300. The name Lafitte is from the surname of the Lafitte family. Also known as the Billionaire's Vinegar, a bottle of 1787 Chateau Lafitte Bordeaux was said to be owned by Thomas Jefferson, which he sold for $156,000 at an auction in 1985. This wine was so exclusive that stories about it led to a best-selling book. The Billionaire's Vinegar, a best-selling book by Benjamin Wallace, tells the story of this rarity of a wine. Number 7. Ampoule from Penfolds, $168,000. Released by South Australia's most famous winery, Penfolds, each of these extraordinary wine bottles costs $168,000. According to Penfolds, each bottle comes from the oldest vines in the world and is designed by four of the best master craftsmen and artists in Australia before being presented in a limited edition crafted vessel called the Penfolds Ampoule. The Penfolds Ampoule has four parts. The wine itself, a sealed, airtight, hand-blown glass ampoule, or tube-shaped vial, to hold the wine, a hand-blown glass plumb bob, an ancient device that suspends the ampoule, 
and a timber cabinet with precious metal detailing to contain it all. With so much involved in creating the Ampoules vessel, it is easy to get distracted from the wine's quality, making it a truly rare gem. Number 6. Chateau Margaux, 1787, $225,000. Unfortunately, this wine can no longer be bought by anyone for any amount of money. It was knocked over during a Margaux dinner in a Four Seasons hotel. The perpetrator of this now infamous extraordinary display of clumsiness is said to be none other than the controversial wine merchant William Sokolin. Yup, you guessed it, the owner. Just before he dropped his bottle of fine vintage wine in the midst of 193 guests, though, Solikin claimed that it was worth $500,000. Needless to say, after the bottle was damaged, Mr. Solikin only got $225,000, a fraction of what he asked for. Although it was never tasted, it is said to hold the record for the most expensive bottle of wine unsold, and is thought to be another bottle from Jefferson's collection, which in itself is probably an indication of its rich history. Number 5. Chateau Lafitte, 1869, $230,000. Widely regarded as one of the world's rarest wines, the 1869 Chateau Lafitte is another great vintage to come from the Chateau Lafitte Rothschild wine estate in the Bordeaux region of France. As at the time of its sale in Hong Kong for $230,000, the 1869 Lafitte was the most expensive 750 milliliter bottle of wine on the planet. This wine is nothing short of exceptional, and the vintage was the first to be the Chateau bottled at Lafitte. It was also the first vintage under the ownership of Baron James de Rothschild. Combining a substantial cherry with a bit of Roquefort in the aroma, the 1869 Lafitte is a true testament to Chateau's enduring brilliance. Number 4. Shipwrecked 1907 Heidesike, $275,000. How much are you willing to spend on wine? A couple of bucks? A thousand? What if there was a wine that has stood the test of time? A wine that has lived untouched through generations, seen many wars and all the wonders that the deep blue ocean has to offer? Then, would you be willing to break the bank? But that sort of drink doesn't exist, how could it? Oh, but it does. The 1907 Shipwrecked Heidesite became one of the world's most expensive champagne bottles when it went on sale in Russia. Sold at an auction held at the Ritz-Carlton in Moscow, one bottle of this champagne went for $275,000. But that's not the whole story. Even more intriguing than the price of this near-perfect champagne is the story about how it was discovered. During the First World War in 1916, Tsar Nicholas II of Russia commissioned a Swedish freighter to deliver a host of fine vintage cargo that included the 1907 Heideslake Champagne. However, as it embarked on its voyage, the Swedish schooner Jopenegg, a German submarine, hit the freighter. The ship and its precious cargo were then left to remain under the sea for decades. It would be over 80 years before the shipwreck would be found and its contents reclaimed. The rest is history, as bottles of this champagne were to be sold years after at increasingly astronomical prices. Number 3. Cheval Blanc 1947 $305,000 Chateau Cheval Blanc, which is translated into White Horse, has a long, colorful history in saint Emilion that can be traced back to 1832 the year the Ducasse family bought land from the much larger estate of Chateau Fagac. Before its rebirth as Cheval Blanc, the vineyard was better known as La Barrel de Carolau, which is loosely translated into the Barrel of Tiny Stones, which of course took its inspiration from the unique gravel soils. This wine, a recipient of the exclusive Premier Grand Cru class, is often regarded as the best Bordeaux ever made. Even though most people consider 1947 a bad year for wineries because of the hot temperature, the Chevelle survived the effects of the heat because of its favorable position, which was a lot cooler than the surrounding vineyards. The vintage is 14.4% alcohol, with a mix of fruitcake, leather, and coffee aromas. And in 2010, at a Christie's auction, a single 6-liter bottle of the 1947 Chevelle Blanc was sold for a then-record $305,000. Number 2. Jeroboam of Chateau Montan Rothschild, 1945, $310,700. The 1944 Mouton is a truly special vintage, not just because it is produced in the vineyards of one of the richest families on the planet. It also defied high odds against it to become one of the greatest vintage wines of all time. The 1945 vintage wine created at the end of the Second World War has a symbol of peace with the words Anne de la Victorie meaning Victory Vintage, displayed on its body. 
In 2007, at an auction held in Sotheby's, New York, a bottle of Jeroboam of Chateau Mouton Rothschild set a world record when it was sold for $310,700. Number 1. Screaming Eagle Cabernet 1992, $500,000. Taking up the first spot in the list is the magnificent 1992 Screaming Eagle Cabernet. Produced in the Screaming Eagle Winery in Napa Valley, California, the 1992 Cabernet has a very compelling nose of cassis, jammy berries, chocolate, blue fruit, and plums. In the year 2000, at an auction in Napa Valley, a 6-liter imperial bottle of 1992 Screaming Eagle Cabernet Sauvignon sold for $500,000, making it the most expensive bottle of wine ever sold at auction. Even though this vintage is not as old as most other exclusive wines, it's widely popular for the mere fact that it's extremely difficult to get one. It takes about 12 years, yep, you heard it right, over a decade, to make the mailing list after signing. But with the huge price tag, we can only imagine that it's worth the wait. Thanks for watching. Leave the comment down below and let us know what your favorite wine is. Don't forget to subscribe for new and upcoming episodes.